Can I grow quince trees from seed? Learn about quince seed germination. Sure, you can buy a quince seedling from a nursery, but what fun is that? My sister has a gorgeous quince tree in her backyard and we regularly make the fruit into delicious quince preserves. Rather than go to her house to procure fruit, I pondered the question, can I grow quince trees from seed instead? Turns out that seed-grown quince is, indeed, one method of propagation along with layering and hardwood cuttings. Interested in growing quince fruit from seeds? Read on to find out how to grow a quince tree from seed and just how long it takes to grow following quince seed germination. Can I grow quince from seed? Many types of fruit can be started from seed. Not all of them will be true to the parent plant, including seed-grown quince, but if you are a curious, experimental gardener like me, then by all means, try growing quince fruit from seeds. How to grow a quince tree from seed. Quince seed germination isn't particularly difficult, although it takes some planning since the seeds need a period of cooling or stratification prior to planting. Acquire quince fruit in the fall and separate the seeds from the pulp. Wash the seeds in clean water, drain them, and allow them to dry on a paper towel for a day or so in a cool area out of the sun. Place the dry seeds in a Ziploc bag that has been filled about three quarters full with clean, moist sand or sphagnum moss. Seal the bag and gently toss the seeds around in the sand-filled bag. Place the bag in the refrigerator for three months to stratify. After three months or so have passed, it's time to plant the quince seeds. Plant one to two seeds in a pot filled with potting mix. Seeds should be planted about one half inch, one centimeter, deep. Water the seeds in well and place the potted seeds in a southern facing window. Once the seeds have sprouted and are showing their second set of leaves, select the weakest plant from each pot and pinch or pull it out. Before planting the seedlings outside, harden them off for a few hours each day once the weather has warmed and all danger of frost has passed. Gradually, increase their outdoor time each day over the course of a week until they are fully acclimated. If the seedlings were germinated in peat pots, plant them that way. If they were in a different type of pot, gently remove them from the pot and plant them at the same depth as they were currently growing. While fruit quality may be a gamble, planting quince from seed is still fun and certainly the resulting fruit will be suitable for cooking purposes. Seedling quince also accepts science from pear cultivars as well as some other quince trees which will give you choices of many fruit varieties on this species of hardy rootstock. Quince is a little-known fruit, primarily because it is not often seen in supermarkets or even farmers' markets. The plant flowers nicely but what to do with quince fruit once they arrive? Centuries ago, the fruit was a common accompaniment to game and used in pastries, pies and jams, but it has fallen out of favor for easier-to-love poems, such as apples and pears. Quince is fairly inedible raw but, once cooked, a treasure trove of flavors are released. This ancient, but worthy, fruit deserves to come back out of the shadows. Learn some tips for cooking with quince and enjoy the heady sweet taste and aroma of properly prepared quince. What to do with quince? Foods can fall in and out of fad like everything else, but quince is simply a forgotten food. It was once so common it was a part of everyday meals and was probably used as much as its cousins the apples and pears. But the tough, hard-to-cut fruit and need to cook it in order to make it palatable saw a fall in the popularity of quince. Historically, there were many uses for quince fruit and many different ways in which to prepare the poem. Today, it is considered a fringe food and relegated to adventurous eaters and those of us lucky enough to have a burgeoning quince bush in our yards. Animals don't seem to mind the astringent taste of quince, so you can always feed the fruit to your barnyard friends. In the absence of that option, perhaps it is best to use them as people food, which sends us looking into the past for recipes. Quince may be roasted, stewed, pureed, jellied, poached, baked, grilled and more. The tough part is preparing the fruit, which is very hard and can be woody on the outside and at the core but spongy and unmanageable in the remainder of the fruit. Remove the peel and the core before using the fruit. Then cut up the flesh and cook it in whatever manner works best with your recipe. Cooking with quince fruit the simplest thing to do with the fruit is to stew it. You can stew or poach it in water or wine with plenty of sugar, as the fruit is quite bitter. Add some spices and the result will be a pink blushed flesh that is tender sweet and redolent of vanilla in your seasonings. Another of the easy quince fruit uses as in baking. Substitute the fruit where you would use an apple or pear. 
Keep in mind the quince will need more time or should be steamed ahead of the baking process, as the fruit is harder and flesh more stubborn than either of the other two fruits. Finally, the classic jellied quince should be on the menu. Quince is filled with pectin, a natural thickener which makes it an all-star in preserves. Other quince fruit uses There are many other uses for quince fruit. It is often used as a rootstock for pears, due to its hardiness. The plant, especially when trained, has great ornamental appeal and brilliant early season blooms. It is especially lovely when espaliered. The nutritional benefits of quince are enormous, with the fruit highest in vitamin C, zinc, iron, copper, iron, potassium and fiber. Its history as an herbal supplement and medicine shows it has been useful as a gastrointestinal aid, skin and hair enhancer, lowering blood pressure and may help heart disease. Modern analysis feels the fruit has some ability to limit some cancers. With all this to offer, as well as a great many varieties in which to eat the fruit, why wouldn't you want to engage with this ancient poem?